please welcome your first debater from Team Single, Glenn Robertson! Hi, thank you. Uh, I'm going to argue that Bob actually is literally killing his wife. Uh, Alright, so I made a PowerPoint for you called Being Single is Great, and it's legal now. Amazing. Okay, so when I say single, I'm talking about unmarried specifically. Um, intellectually, I do support not sleeping with a series of men and getting involved with them emotionally, but I have not been able to not do that. <laughs> as much as I wish that I could. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, as, a, as is true of things like football and Sean Penn, I disagree with marriage for political and sociological reasons. Um, so being married benefits men and harms women. This is true. And I learned this in this great book committed by Elizabeth Gilbert. She wrote You Pray Love. Uh, so she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> and so all of this is according to science, aka studies, which might actually be math. I don't know. Um, married men live longer than single men do. And married men accumulate more wealth over their life than single men. And they go further in their careers. They are less likely to, to die a violent death. They report being much happier. And they suffer less from alcoholism, drug addiction, and depression. So basically, if you're a man, you should get married. <laughs> so I can see that committed is better for the men in the room. Men, you should get married. Um, I googled it. <laughs> husband, sad wife, and I was like, this won't come up, and it did. Yeah. So, men, if you can trick a woman into marrying you, you should. Um, but you'll have to answer for it and when you go to heaven. Uh, and you might say, oh, God is a man, you're wrong. You might also say, God is a woman, that's wrong. God has never even heard of, like, the idea of gender. <laughs> uh, okay, so, this is the reason that Team Committed is, like, mostly men, and then also Jenna, because it's hard to find three funny men. <laughs> less money over the course of their lives. Um, they don't do as well in their career. They are more likely to be, to be depressed. They are more likely to die a violent death because their husbands murdered them. <laughs> and if you need any more proof that being married is bad for women, just take a look at this picture. <laughs> imbalance of benefits, like if you get married later, these things are less uh, imbalanced, and if a husband helps with chores, it's less bad. Um, so maybe there is hope for me, someone who is 87 years old and famously lazy. Um, but even then, it's not even, it's still bad for them. Also, this photo is my kink. <laughs> and I thought that this was a hoverboard, it's not, it's a vacuum, but I was like, if anyone is going to do chores on a hoverboard, it wouldn't be that guy. <laughs> He's wearing Crocs. Uh, so, like, marriage is bad, you shouldn't get married if you're a woman, and in 2019, you don't have to. And this was not always true. In the past, uh, and this is ideas that I got from Rebecca Traster, this book is incredible. In the past, women didn't have any property rights, right? Like, you couldn't get an education, you couldn't get a job, you couldn't control your reproduction, you couldn't get divorced, and it sucked. But now, it's a little bit better. It still sucks, but women, like, can get an education, you can get a job. 
Um, there's protection against rape and harassment and like discrimination. Obviously, there's still a long way to go. Um, you can get a credit card, which you couldn't before, and I use my credit card to buy shoes because I saw Harry Styles wearing them. <laughs> uh, you can get divorced if you accidentally get married. <laughs> Um, you can get an abortion, still yikes, and then you can get birth control. And I just want to take a moment to say that this is my nemesis. All birth control is still horrific. I recently got an IUD. I'm like on day 21 of my period. I cried in a closet at work. <laughs> I've got all these zits. Like, I gained three pounds. It could be because my friend Sage bought 36 Milky Ways this weekend, but it could be my IUD. <laughs> Who knows? Um, it's crazy that women have to do this, men should be paying us, and... <laughs> and if you're a man in the audience, you can send me money on Venmo, my username is Blake. <laughs> if you don't send me money, you're not an ally. <laughs> Women, and if women don't have to get married, why do they? Um, well, women enjoy possible power through their association with men. This is what makes women villains, especially white women, LOL. <laughs> um, this is Phyllis Shapley, who like is very anti-feminist and surprised she was married. Um, married women are more likely to have voted for Trump. 57% of white women who are married voted for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but women who are not married, 59% of unmarried white women voted for Hillary. Still not enough. Uh, so married women are fascists is what I'm saying. <laughs> so uh, stay single and join the revolution, comrade. Uh, so, so you might also not get, or you might get married anyways because you feel shame about being single. Like patriarchy can't legally force you to get married, so now they just try to make you feel bad about it via pop culture and all of your family members being like, so is there anyone special in your life? Uh, like all the, there's so many depictions of single women who are like spinsters or sad single girls, but like the joke is on them because Miss Trunchbull is my feminist hero. Uh, I don't know who in the audience has seen Matilda, uh, children spell the word difficulty by going like Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I, Mrs. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y, and this Trunchbull says, why are all these women married? <laughs> I think about it every day. Uh, so I think this is why women are like told that they should care so much about love, that like all the like pop culture geared towards women is like rom-coms and like boy bands and stuff like that. Um, because logically, like, we should be paid to be married. Um, like, you are being a man's maid and nanny and therapist for free for your whole life. Uh, like, you'd have to pay me at least $9 million a year annually to do this. Um, but I still wouldn't, because much like working at Goldman Sachs, the hours are too long, the work is too stressful, and the industry is boring. So, yeah, in conclusion, that's why I'm single. Please do not hit on me after the show. <laughs>